Hey there everyone, my name is Prakash Mathani and welcome back to Learn in Tech. In this particular video, I'm going to talk about how you can install Bootstrap extension for your Visual Studio Code project whenever you are trying to create a responsive site. Generally what happened, whenever we need to create a file in a Bootstrap, either we download Bootstrap file from getbootstrap.com or provide a CDN link. Next time, if you have to create a new file, we repeat the same task, which is kind of boring thing. What we want, we should have a solution wherein we can just type command and our bootstrap file will be loaded automatically over there. So yes, we have a solution in VS Code. So let's talk about it, how we can achieve that. Go in Visual Studio Code and type Control Shift X and you will be having your extension there or you can directly go from view and that is the option of extension all right so once you are there just type bootstrap here and you'll see bootstrap 4 which is the latest version of bootstrap and font awesome 4 font awesome 5 and pro are there there is an install section here you can just click on install your bootstrap is installed in your vs code now how to include that in your file there is some easy step what you have to do go in your code editor just type b4 hyphen followed by a control plus space so let me just reload this first once it is reloaded i'll create a new file by pressing control plus n and i'll save this particular file first i'm going to save this with index.html once my file is saved, what I have to type is b4 hyphen control plus space and after that in the second b4 hyphen dollar you can see that bootstrap master template bootstrap 4 just hit enter your bootstrap files are already there with all these html tags so what you have to do now you have to start developing things in your bootstrap you don't have to worry about what file you have to include. Your all bootstrap files are here with the bootstrap.min.js, proper.min.js, and <coughs> jQuery slim min.js, including bootstrap min.css. All these files are here. And in case you want to include your font or some file, you can do that also. And every time I create a new file, what I have to do is just save my file here with test.html, let's suppose and uh, again type b4 hyphen control space and there you are html files so that's very very easy how you can achieve these things if you like the video don't forget to subscribe my channel and keep, keep supporting learn and tech thank you so much